not only wholeheartedly that God chose you to be an influence in the sphere that you are in. If you are a teacher, he's going to give you creative ways to communicate in your class. If you are a parent, he's going to show you how to parent those kids in the best way possible. I just heard Jenny Randall speak last night, and I want to tell you how much she impacted me. Her humor about things proves her authenticity, which just drew me into her message. And she had the right amount of humor to back up the serious things that she really wanted to say to us. How many watch Lifetime movies? Okay. Wow. Okay. You guys are all sinners. So, <laughs> I'm joking. They're the best. So in a movie, in a fiction movie, there's kind of a three-part uh, three story structure. Act one, act two, and act three. And we're going to be talking about that tonight because I believe our creativity kind of flows in this three-part structure. So a lot of adults feel like they lost their creativity or they've shelved it. Mm -hmm. And part of what I love to do is pull, pulling that creativity back out of you mm -hmm. and challenging you because we are all born creative and we're all meant to do creative stuff. We just need to find the time to do it. Professional namer of things, that's a real job. And I want to show you it's just not that easy. So I'm going to need some hecklers. I'm going to show you an animal. And I want you to yell it out. But I don't want you just to yell it out. I want you to yell it out in a British accent. Okay. This is your moment. So she pulls you into her message, and when you're in her message, you feel encouraged and bold and courageous once again. And her creativity in explaining the message. It's not just that she was authentic and real, but the creativity and the way she made you laugh, it just kept you engaged, the whole message. I loved it, and it truly impacted me. Something magical happens when people are pursuing their dream and they're doing it well, and I believe that can happen for all of us. And oftentimes we're so focused on the thing we feel called to carry and not focused on the one who carries us. And we need to shift our focus onto him, so our question needs to stop being, but God, who am I, who am I, and it, not, it needs to start being, who are you? Security comes from trusting in Him. His presence provides provision and power. And if you study in Exodus alone, there's over 30 miracles that God does for Moses as he goes on this journey. God's presence provides as we walk out this thing that we're called to do, as we walk out our dreams. If you want to get inspired, you want to move uh, with the Spirit of God and whatever God's calling you to do, this is the person that's going to help you get to that next level. I'm here to tell you he fills the spaces. Yeah. He fills the spaces between you and your dream. And when you're walking in your act three, and then he said this, this is the clincher. All you have to do is be obedient. Mm, that's All you have to do is look forward and walk in your act three. Yes, that's good. But we can start to make lists like, oh, but God, I have little kids and all time for that. I gotta watch Netflix. I gotta do my laundry. I gotta go on an internet date with Anne. I don't know. I have all this stuff to do. So just be obedient to what he calls you to do. And this is the greatest response we can have, which is, yes, Lord, here I am. Yes, Lord, here I am. Here we are, God. We want to be used in mighty ways for you. May we set down the things we want to do, and may our vision align with the things you've called us to. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. You want to check out Jenny Randall? Go to JennyRandall.com. This woman will push you forward to the next level. So check her out.